This week in the Scottish Parliament, it's been quite a busy week with legislation and in particular uh, with the Transport Bill continuing uh, at what is called Stage 2, which is the committee process. Uh, we had previously looked at buses and low emission zones and pavement parking, uh, but this week the focus was on the workplace parking levy and that has clearly been quite a, um, has caused quite a lot of um, debate and argument uh, and so on. Uh, I think the idea of a workplace parking levy is extremely good. The, the reality is that all we're doing at the moment is giving the power to the local councils and it would be up to the local councils to decide if they wanted to use that power or not. It would be a charge on the employer or whoever provided the space. Uh, so it wouldn't automatically go on to the employee, uh, although in some cases uh, it might be passed on. Now there's been some feeling that uh, perhaps this would disadvantage uh, workers who are not so well off, but the reality is, as far as I can see in Glasgow City Centre, and it's the same in Edinburgh City Centre, where there's a lot of congestion problems, and we do need to cut down on the number of cars uh, in the city centres, that these parking spaces underneath the offices and so on, tend to go to the directors uh, and the highly paid employees, and the ordinary workers and the cleaners and so on have to get there by bus or train or whatever else. So if actually the charge was passed on uh, to the employee using the car parking space, then generally speaking, it would be going to somebody who is better paid. Now, there are separate questions as to whether on the edge of the city or in rural areas, uh, the workplace parking levy would really be needed at all because they probably don't have the same congestion problem. But the key thing in this is that it would be up to the individual council to make up its mind because the SNP believes very strongly in local councils deciding for themselves what is best and what is not best. Uh, we should not be having a centralising approach, but it should be the local councils who make that decision. So if Glasgow and Edinburgh want to try this, that would be well and good, whereas Highland and the Islands it might well not consider it. So the, the bill has not gone through yet, it has just passed stage two. Um, both uh, myself, my SNP colleagues and the Greens uh, are very much supportive of this because in addition we feel it would be good for the environment and if there were less cars in Glasgow city centre one big advantage would be that the buses could move through the city centre more quickly. Uh, that's a big complaint at the moment that the buses just take so long uh, to get through Glasgow city centre and uh, hopefully going forward we can speed that up and more people can use public transport.